God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is your friend in the School of Prayer and Deliverance, Daniel Lulukoya. I'm passing this message across to all our students in campus fellowships who are presently inside this lockdown, no going out, no church, no activity. I want you to know that nothing happens without the permission of the Almighty. And I want you to thoroughly utilize this period to improve your spiritual life. I want you to utilize this period to pray. I want you to utilize this period to seek the face of God. I want you to utilize this period to meditate on the Word of God. If you have been sluggish with your Bible reading, this is the time to catch up on the Bible reading. If you have been sluggish in the school of prayer, this is the time to catch up in the school of prayer. If God has been speaking to you about certain things, this is time to sit down and meditate on those things. This is not time to watch terrible films. This is not time to masturbate. This is not time to gossip. This is not time to do ungodly things. Because God is passing a very strong message across to the old world now. He's passing a very, very, very strong message. And that strong message is that man is nothing. God is everything. And that it doesn't take the Almighty one minute to wipe out the whole of the human race. I want you to understand that this is a period for sober reflection, a period where you sit down, assess your lives, calculate what you have been doing with it, and make sure that you are in good books of God. The trumpet may sound at any time. The end may be closer than we think. Jesus said, there shall be war. There shall be pestilence. All kinds of things will be happening. He said, men's hearts will fail them for fear. There's plenty of fear around, plenty of panic around, and a lot of people are even sick, not because it's a sickness, but because they are panicking. I pray that the Lord will uphold you in this very difficult hour. Do you have the anti-missile, anti-infirmity missile prayers? If you don't have it, get one. Are you participating in the 30 days retreat program? If you are not participating, get a document and start or ask your campus leaders to fetch you the document so that you can join us in these prayers. Have you memorized your Psalm 71 verse 3? Make sure that you've memorized it too. The Almighty will bless you as you continue to stand strong in this very, very difficult hour. Don't joke with your Bible study. Don't joke with your quiet time. Don't while away this time. It's an important time in your life that God wants to use to rebrand you. In Genesis 32, from verse 24, we read the story of Jacob. Jacob was struggling with his destiny. And so he fought for his destiny until the angel asked him, What is your name? The last time somebody asked for his name, he told a lie and said, I'm Esau. So the angel had to ask him, what is your name? He said, I'm Jacob. The God of Jacob is found at least 14 times in the Bible. Three times we read of the mighty God of Jacob. 
such frequent repetitions has a very, very deep significance. There are definitely valuable lessons to learn. You will not read of God of Moses, God of Joshua, God of Solomon. Why then has God identified himself as God of Jacob? The God of Jacob is a God of divine selection. The God of Jacob is a God who chooses one and passes by another. The God of Jacob is one who converts people from zero to hero. So spend the time now you have to fight from Jacob to Israel. Jacob fought in Genesis 32. He fought from Jacob to Israel. The Lord will give you strength. The Lord will give you the anointing. The Lord will make you to be who he wants you to be in the name of Jesus. Fight from your Jacob to your Israel. Listen, beloved. There was a lawmaker and deliverer in Moses. There was a champion in David. There was a prophet in Elisha. There was a messianic prophet in Isaiah. There was an apostle, prophet, teacher, evangelist, pastor in Paul. There was an apostle in Peter, but who was fishing. There was lawmaker in Moses, a deliverer in Moses. He was by the desert. There was a champion in David. He was at the backside of the wilderness. There was a prophet in Elisha. He was farming. There was a messianic prophet in Isaiah. He was prophesying what he wanted in the king's palace. There was an apostle, prophet, teacher, evangelist, and pastor in Paul. He was busy persecuting the Christian. Same way, there was an Israel inside Jacob. But one night, he had to pray from that Jacob to Israel. Jacob might be your current appearance now, but the dream of your life is that your life was Israel. The dream of heaven for your life was Israel. Jacob is just a transient camp, not the final stage, not the final size. Just a comma, not a full stop. Just a bus stop in your final destination. It is therefore a tragedy when the transcend becomes permanent. Your present appearance, I tell you, is different from God's dreams. However, everyone is more concerned about the Israel that lies within you as a silent seed within you. I decree that your Jacob will become Israel. Your Jacob will become Israel. Your Jacob will become Israel. Your Jacob will become Israel in the name of Jesus. There's an Israel within you whose discovery and manifestation is crucial to you in this hour. The tragedy is that many have accepted the negative concept about themselves. Many have seen themselves as not going above the level they are now. Many have defined themselves in the darkness of the past rather than in the light of the future. There is the Jacob dream and there is the Israel dream. You need the Israel dream to make it. You need to pray to go from your Jacob to Israel. Can you shout this loud and clear? Powers assigned to kill my glory die now in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to kill my glory die now in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to kill my glory die now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every voice from my foundation Speaking against my future, be silenced in the name of Jesus. Any voice from my foundation, speaking against my future, be silenced in the name of Jesus. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so Holy Ghost fire, overshadow my life by fire. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, overshadow my life by fire. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, overshadow my life by fire. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, overshadow my life by fire. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, overshadow my life by fire. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, overshadow my life by fire. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, overshadow my life by fire. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, overshadow my life by fire. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray.
Amen. Father, I thank you for your children who are listening to me. Let your power, your glory overshadow their lives. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. Make them instrument of fire and power in your hand. I decree, Lord, that all these your children who are listening to me, let them become your battle axe. 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 Let the spirit of revival overshadow them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.